I've never seen anything like it. Check it out. <gasps> Bro, that is a monster sous vide. That's fat. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. This is an 11 inch wheel on a stock sous vide. As you can see, we have two jack stands right here and we have two jack stands down here. I am reinforcing for safety with that jack and then I also have this one right here just in case, you know. Guys, looking at this Tomei exhaust, there is not one ounce of rust or dirt or anything. And with that being said, the full titanium is amazing because as you see, there's nothing on it, no rust, nothing. That titanium just doesn't allow it to rust, which is super crazy and it looks awesome to have that clean exhaust. And following the exhaust, Tomei just made headers. Tomei made Made equal length headers and unequal length headers for the FA motor. That is so unbelievable. Um, I honestly cannot wait to hear what the unequal length headers sound like on the FA motor. It's gonna be it's gonna be insane. So if they sound good, I'm gonna cop those. If not, we're gonna stay safe with the equal length headers and just full send on some straight pipe. You know what I'm saying? Three inch straight pipe to douche cannon. Let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start taking off each wheel. And then we'll be able to access the coilover which is inside there somewhere that you cannot see. Let's start taking off the wheels. Yo guys, I just put my old wheel next to my new wheel and check this out, this is absolutely insane. Look at the difference, guys. This is also more of a matte colored wheel, and this is that gloss black colored wheel. But guys, the difference is insane. Not only that, look at the size difference. Here, I'll come from this way. Look at the size difference. This bad boy is wide and that is thin. And honestly, the tire difference is, is crazy because this is more of like that street tread. And you know, you look at, that makes it look so skinny, but it's still a nine and a half inch wheel, which is perfect fitment for a Subaru. All in all, I'm super hyped to put the XTRs on. So let's get back to installing them. I went ahead, I got all four tires off. So we are currently sitting on jack stands, wheelless. Kind of looks pretty sick actually. What I'm actually going to do first is I'm gonna start on this front driver's side. Looking in here, now you can see the BC Racing coilover itself. Uh, what a coilover is, is a coil over a shock, kind of how it got its name. These are how I'm going to adjust the ride height. Now I'm not gonna really mess with the preload. This is considered the preload, which is basically how much your shock is compressed. Usually if you're not tracking the car, don't really need to worry about this. Um, the coilover company itself kind of does really good with having the preload set to basically the weight of the car and all the factors that go into that so I'm really not going to adjust the preload I really like how it rides already what I'm going to be doing is you're going to loosen this bottom oh wait I forgot my little tool I forgot what they call these so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab your spanners. Now, they come in two different sizes, and as you can tell, this top one is a little bit smaller. This adjustable ring is a little bit bigger than the bottom two. So what we're gonna use is the smaller spanner, and basically, all you do is, if you turn this very bottom spanner right, Boom, just like that. Break it loose. If you've had them on for a while, they're gonna be a little stiff. Um, hopefully not seized. Seized would be, they would not move at all whatsoever. Basically move this bottom ring and as you can see, it's really starting to loosen the whole strut. And I'm gonna hold the strut itself. Just like this. And after you raise this a little bit, this is just basically the locking ring. So now I'm able to go up and actually take this one and raise the coil over. Moving it to the right is going to raise it. Moving it to the left would be lowering. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna raise it pretty high just to make sure we clear the wheel and I don't rub whatsoever. I'd rather have enough room than not enough, get everything situated and end up rubbing. Looking at this right here, you can actually see the dirt line on how much I actually raised the drive height itself. After I raise all four sides, I'm going to put the wheels back on, uh, lock them all down, lower the car and see how the fitment is. And then from there I can adjust, you know, oh crap, I need to go up a little bit in the front, up a little bit in the back. Uh, 
uh, what I'm gonna also do is I'm going to take a ruler, I'm going to measure that dirt line in there, and I'm then going to raise all four sides to the same distance that I raised that, and it will make everything even. So let me get to that real fast, and I will get right back to you guys, and the wheels will pretty much be on. So I'm hyped for this. I cannot wait to see the finished product. Let's go. And I just busted my knuckles, slipping the coil over, and I did that one last week. Now I'm currently wearing TIG welding gloves to just kind of prevent that from happening because I'm sick of bleeding. I always bleed. Whether it's me busting my knuckles, slipping bolts, or just my nose, dude. My nose bleeds, I swear, so much. It's honestly ridiculous. And when it bleeds, it bleeds. It comes out like insane and it's just, it's bad. It's, it's kind of like my nose is on its period. I have one more side to do. One long day, Sophie just showed up. Let's go. What? Mom just dropped you off. What is she doing? Mm -hmm. Ready pancakes. Oh, let's get it. What? What's she? What's going on here? Is that some drip? Is some drip? This one drip. Let me see. Oh my gosh, you brought me pancakes. Ew. You are a legend. Okay, that's there because it got stuck and I ate the top one. <laughs> my bad. Okay, guys, we're gonna have to stop and. Oh my gosh, I just turned around and it was a will fest. <laughs> It's like, it's like, like he has a freaking wheel fest. Oh my gosh. Yo, look at this. Oh, here's the stock ones. Look at that. That's insane. All right, we're gonna have to take a quick take five and uh, eat some pancakes because pancakes are lit. I really cannot believe how good these pancakes are. Like, honestly, they had to have put sugar inside. Oh no, we run out of syrup. We run out of syrup. Oh, bet. Oh my, that's a lot of syrup. Um, honestly, they. Honestly, they had to have put some sort of sugar inside the batter because these are amazing. And I don't really eat pancakes that often, but but now I'm finna eat pancakes more often. Holla, freaking yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to place the wheels on the whip. Let's get to it. Nine foot pounds of torque is the specs you're going to want to use to tighten 15 to 17 WRX STI wheels. Here we go. Yo, I just drove the Subi and oh my gosh, it looks like a monster truck. It looks like a monster Subi. I cannot believe this, guys. Check this out.
This is absolutely insane, guys. This is an 11 inch wheel on a stock SUV, and I cannot believe Loki is pretty hard. And honestly, I think it's super, super dope. And it's cool to have for a minute. And I was thinking, you know, I bought these wheels. Why well, I might as well just put them on right now. I ended up having to raise the front end so many times because it just kept rubbing. It wasn't necessarily rubbing on the top part right here, but when I would turn the wheel, it would hit the inside liner, it would hit the edge, guys. The wheel is just absolutely way too big for the car and I put them on and this is what you get it is a monster truck suvi bro it's a monster suvi I'm ready to go off roading with this crap bro this is super dope I mean just how wide it is is so insane I cannot believe it I hope this video does the justice of this car because this is absolutely fucking mint okay Look how wide it is in my mirror. That is absolutely insane. That is what I see when I'm driving. Look how wide it is from this angle as well. This is crazy. Best fitment I've seen all year. Guys, we are currently driving the car. Look at that fitment. I can't even believe it. These wheels are so wide. I can feel the difference just in the handling and the steering of the car. Going from a 9.5 to an 11 is definitely a game changer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bro, so many people keep looking at me like, what is this kid doing? <laughs> we just... That just rubbed so bad. I'm gonna have to take these wheels off. No matter how high I raise them, they're just not fit for the car. Check it out. I can't get my car to stop rubbing, so I'm actually gonna have to take these wheels off. I'm gonna put my other wheels back on because it just is not working, and every time I go anywhere, I drove down the neighborhood for a minute, and it just was not working. So for right now, <laughs> this is what we got going on. I'm gonna have some bad fitment, but we'll just have it for a minute while I get the wide body kit going. Guys, just waiting on the hardware, and as soon as the hardware comes in, we'll be good to start the wide body kit. I cannot wait, guys. I'll see you guys next video. Peace out.